You are suffering from cognitive dissonance. <laughs> This is Uganda Wildlife Education Center in Entebbe, and the occasion is sent off of Zakayo, the alpha chimpanzee who died aged 54. I'm not sure whether we should also say, may his soul rest in internal peace. But some people love the Zakayo so much that they mimicked how the chimpanzees would mourn their grandfather. <laughs> some people don't know the value of animals, but I'm told Zakayo changed many people's lives. It's not weird to cry over an animal because the closeness we have with each other as human beings is the same closeness we have with animals. I came from nowhere, but because the love I had for Zakayo, I faced many challenges with these chimps, but really, you know, death is for all of us. We really lost an important animal. Has lost a senior citizen. Zakayo was a senior citizen indeed who brought thousands of dollars of foreign exchange into Uganda's treasury. Zakayo is one unique animal that has interacted with the majority of Ugandans. All right, fare thee well, Zakayo, as we hear these soccer fanatics who can even fight when they lose a game. I will say it in front of you. These teams like Bull should stop influencing these games. The Maroon coach is very angry. Because this is not a game, it was a circus. You call it a circus just because your team lost? We lose matches, but you come to such a ground, the referee doesn't allow you to play, and it is, it is okay. And these people have influenced the game, we know it. <laughs> it was really a painful loss, I can say. Sorry, coach. That is the case. These teams like Bull should be allowed to take three points and we don't come. We just know they're going to take three points, we don't come. What went wrong to annoy this coach this much? But every time you come to this away ground, penalty, penalty. These teams always get penalties. We are playing in Luzira. We have not even got a single penalty. Even one. And yet we are one of the most attacking teams in the league. All right, Mr. Coach. Allow me to speak to Finance Minister Honorable Matia Kasaja. Paparazzi, please record me properly on this. <laughs> I am recording, Honorable Matia. What is your message to Ugandans? In Uganda, there is a bad habit. People borrow money, they don't want to pay it back. Am I right or wrong? Maybe 50-50 because some people pay. Once you have borrowed, you must do what? You must pay. But I know some customers on banks, because I'm involved, you know, I'm deeply involved with the UDB. You know, that's my arm to use it. So, Honorable Minister, what do you tell people as you advise them to pay their debts? <laughs> Say the minister, for you are not a businessman. For us, we smell money. I smell it money. But it's meant to go with the money now. <laughs> <laughs> Another advice to Ugandans. Never leave your office without telling your sector where you have gone. Because that practice saved me. Honorable, you mean you always tell your secretary where you are going? Don't leave your office where you've gone to where you have not informed your secretary. Tell the sector I've gone there, gone there, gone there. Yeah, honorable. Even if you are going to do the other thing, do you have to tell the secretary that you have going to do it? Even if you have going to do some misdeeds. <laughs> Agnes Nandutu, point blank. <laughs>